Praise God. This is a praying church. <laughs> this is a worshiping church. If you came to worship the Lord, you came to the right place. But right now, we're going to give some of that worship to the Lord to start out the service. We're going to demonstrate that love unto God, begin to cry out, to begin to reach out. I want the Spirit of the Lord to reign in this place. Hallelujah. Jesus, Lord. Jesus, Lord. We need a move of God today. We need power today. We need anointing today. We need you, Jesus. Oh, raise your hands in the air and close your eyes so that you can put all of your focus on the Lord for the next few minutes, putting all the attention on him. I believe 
something powerful can happen when the church comes together and decides that they're all in one mind going to reach out to God. Something begins to happen in the house. I'm coming here with expectation of God's mighty power. Hallelujah. take a few more moments to begin to put out into this atmosphere what we need from God for our young people. Today we're coming together for the young people. I need some adults right now, all the parents to begin to pray for the young people. Pray for your children and the children of other people in this church because we want these children to receive a message from God, to understand more about God, to receive God today in their lives with understanding is what we want for these young people. Right now across this place, if you love your young people, if you love your children, if you love other people's children, somebody reach out right now with your spirit. Oh, for those children in this church. God, we need you to bless the children. Oh, touch them, Lord. Let them know your power and your presence. Holy Ghost right now. <laughs> I'm starting to feel something in the presence. Oh, something beginning to touch my flesh. And I'm beginning to become transformed in your presence. Lord God, hallelujah. Woo! <laughs> yeah! My God! <laughs>
going to touch someone. You did not come to this place in vain. I promise you, when the Lord shows up, nothing stays the same, but things must change. Yes. I'm ready for his power. I'm ready for his anointing. It's going to go, and it will depend on how much you want to put out of worship and praise. You want a little bit of God, then just praise him a little bit. Oh, but if you want a lot of God, I suggest you praise him a lot right now in this place. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> praise the Lord. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> It's so good to see all of you in the house of God today. Thank you for coming together and worship this afternoon. <laughs> praise God. Praise God. Ooh, I feel the Spirit of God. Anybody feel the Holy Ghost right now? Anybody feel the... Ooh, ah, 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 ah. Yeah. Praise God. If I can have the worship team come, I'm ready to move on in the Spirit of God today. I'm ready for God to move in this hour. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. My Lord. And I need your help today. We're missing a couple singers. Sister Anna, I need your help today. Will you come up? I'm missing a couple people. Come on. Come on. Come on. You know the songs, girl. I know you like to stay down there and jump and shout, but I need you up here today. <laughs> Praise God. Pick a mic, pick a mic, pick a mic. Praise. Praise, praise. Hallelujah. again I want to ask the church to join us in song everything's been prepared for you right now for us to give everything we've got see when we give to the devil when we give to sin we tend to give everything we give all of our money we give all of our purity we give all of our love we give it to the sin and it destroys us how much more should we give on to God when he blesses us and loves us and cares for us we need to give him all we not just not a little bit but all that we have in our praise and in our worship you to know it's all right to come on up here if you want to come and and be a little closer to be in the presence if you want to do that that's all right praise god praise god praise the lord you to worship God. All you young people, even you young kids, Ezekiel and Sonny Boy and Lachias, stand up. Julie, Maya, go ahead, girl. You too, stand up. Lexi. All of us. Let's get in the presence of God. Let's worship God. Stand up, girl. Praise God. Don't let me come get you. In the yeah. secret place of the most high is where I abide. Is where I abide. More and more I long to be by your side. Yeah. 
Listen, I believe the Lord spoke to me about the idea of, of some of us young people. See, now some of us older people, like some of my friends here, we don't act old. 
<laughs> we're old, but we're staying young. <laughs> but I'm here to tell you that there are some young people here that I'd like to get involved. I'd like to get, this, is, this should be a concert for God. When we jump and we shout, I want some of the young, look, these old people have been showing some of you young people up. <laughs> we got almost just as much older people as young people in the altar right now. Now, I know some of y'all young people go to different things, and there's music, and there's all kinds of stuff going on, and y'all jump and shout. There's concerts y'all been to. Concerts you've been to, and, and all kinds of head-banging, body-surfing. You know, there's enough trust, Sister Amy, there's enough trust where there's a whole room of people, and someone will allow themselves to be picked up in the air, and trust for all the people to hold them around the room, push them around, and hold them up and not fall on the head. If people can trust strangers like that in an outing, why can't we trust God? Come on. That's right. Hallelujah. I want some of these young people to trust God. Yes. Hallelujah. And just allow God to have his way. If you can headbang and you can head jump, you can shout for the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Oh, I know some of y'all, uh, man, I wish I had a, a, a hidden camera or something. I know some of y'all go out and do some crazy stuff. You know what I want? I want you to get crazy for the Lord. How about that? Why don't you try to get a little crazy for God? How about that? Yeah. Thank you. 
the body. Hallelujah. Yes. 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 We're almost there. We're almost there. Hallelujah. Y'all are one step before crazy. We're almost there. You're one step away from going crazy. I don't want you to just love God. I want you to go crazy for God. I want us to love God in a crazy way. <laughs> Praise God. Today we focus on the young people. And there's a new generation coming up. I'm glad to know that I'm not some old fogey that can't connect with the young people. Right, I don't mind jumping around, dancing around. I don't mind getting a little crazy for God. This is not a stuffy church. This is not a dead, dry church. This church is alive and well in California. Yeah. And we know how to worship the Lord God. <laughs> who's going to be a dancing generation? Who's going to who, be a... Come on. Mercy taught us how to dance, to celebrate with all we have, and we'll dance to thank you for mercy. Glory taught us how to shout, to lift your name in all the earth, and we'll shout to the praise of your glory. It's the a well forgiven soul, and now we've seen your God. Our hearts cannot stay silent, but we'll be a dancing generation, dancing because of your great mercy, Lord. Your great mercy, Lord. And we'll be a shouting. Shout to the praise of your glory. It's the overflow of a forgiven soul. And now we've seen you, God. Our hearts cannot stay silent. And we'll be a dancing generation. Dancing because of your great mercy, Lord. Your great mercy, Lord. <laughs> Love him. Go ahead. Praise him. Praise him. He's worthy. He is a worthy God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Woo. I like that. I like that. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to thank you for your participation. Yeah. 
This church is not a spectator sport. This church is a church where you get involved with the worship of God. You are the church. You should pray. You should praise. You should worship. Oh, this is not a spectator sport. I'm going to participate. I'm going to participate in the power and moving of God. Thank you, Lord. Oh, it's going to be a good day. I can feel it. I can feel it. We're going to have fun today. <laughs> God's got a plan for somebody. See, this is the kind of environment where someone can receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. This is the environment where people can be touched so, so mightily. They say, I need to get baptized in Jesus' name. I want to have the blood of Jesus Christ on my life. I want to have my sins washed away. Brother, touch that water. See how warm it is. Is it cold in there? Check that water right now. I want you to check it. Just lift up the box and put your hand in there. I want to see if it's cold. I want you to turn on the heater. I'm telling you right now. Is it cold? Turn on the heater. You know where it is? You think I'm lying? Listen, I know what to prepare for. When I see God, what does it say? We've seen you. And when we begin to see God, that's when things begin to happen. There's so many people that can't see him because they're so busy worrying and not having trust in God and worried about the problem. They don't see God. When we come to this place, we're going to move all that stuff out the way. We're going to move all that stuff out the way because I want to see him. I want my eyes on him. Praise God. If I don't see God when I come to church, there's no need to go to church. So I need to make sure there is an atmosphere where people can see God. Can I get an amen? Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We're going to do some announcements.